My name is Richard Santiago and stuff. I'm better known as uh, a b-boy, uh, known as Break Easy. I'm from the Williamsburg section in Brooklyn, New York. The area is called the South Side, Los Sures. My interest with working in this documentary with regards to the dynamic group is the fact that Kid Freeze came up to me and he asked me with regards to helping on a project. I'm like, what project you are you working on? And it happened to be on the historical perspective of the whole crew. And I'm like, are you talking about dynamic rockers, dynamic breakers? He's like, everything. And I was like, wow, this will be something that um, I would love to uh, get involved with. Um, he's always seen me as a b-boy that's been active within the community. And my interest in it was very well, um, very well expected from me personally. Instead, I was jumping up for joy due to the fact that I felt that this is a historical moment where the b-boy is telling you the story from his perspective as opposed to where you hear it from other people. Usually you have a third person writing about a collective, a group, or someone writing a, a biography about another person instead of making it an autobiography. So when it came to this project, um, I said, hey, let's do this, you know. So were you ever like in Dynamic Rockers? No, uh, my name is uh, Richard Santiago, and I'm like I said before, I'm from the South Side. So my crew was uh, is breaking in style. Um, we were established in '79 and stuff. Actually, we were from two different groups. Uh, the first group that I was a part of initially was Popping Unlimited (PU), and we were only poppers. You know, I used to go down to Flatbush Avenue to learn how to pop because that was my first dance when it came to the whole uh, b-boy and hip-hop culture then later on we met a group uh, called Northside breakers and we joined forces and then we had to kill each other's own name and create a a a, a mutual party name which became breaking in style it was popping and b-boys the reason why is they were Northside breakers and they were just b-boys and we were popping unlimited, which is just popping. So we wanted the name to encompass both both uh, both dance elements. The reason why was in our location, we had a group called um, uh, Together We Break. And that happened to be an extension of a social crew called Together We Chill. Some people call these social groups as, uh, as gang members. You know, uh, denim jean jackets, the boots, and they were semi-outlaws or outlaws, you know, depending on how you looked at them. And they had a camp called Together We Break. And that group was actually going around the area battling and taking over block by block, crew by crew. So we knew as Popping Unlimited we couldn't survive. And same thing with the Northside Breakers. As b-boys, they weren't able to survive. So that's why we had to come together.